So welcome back to another FIFA 20 video. Today we are talking about football things that can only happen in FIFA 20. I was uh, sitting around the other day thinking about what kind of things in real life football have a pretty high chance of not occurring and are easily able to occur in FIFA 20. I promise you if that didn't make sense, it'll make more sense when I'm actually getting into the video, but it's hard to explain. I don't know, I just find it hard to explain. I've got a few ideas that I've come up with for today's episode. If you've got any ideas, make sure you leave a comment and I can easily probably recreate them in FIFA 20. So this is just going to be a test episode to see if you guys enjoy it. So if you do enjoy it, remember to leave a like for me so I know. And if you are new to the channel and you want to know all the latest Fever 20 news and updates and just general Fever 20 content like this, make sure you subscribe to get new stuff every week. Today's video is sponsored by OneFootball. OneFootball is the best app to get all the latest football news and live updates. You can check scores, tables and news from across the world, any competition you want. I've been using this app for many, many years before they've even sponsored the channel and it's the only football app I've got on my phone because it covers everything. So if you want to download it yourself, check out my link in the description. You can download it for free. Now, if there's definitely one thing that can only happen in FIFA 20, it's Lingard winning the Player of the Month for the Premier League this season. We all know his current stats this season, they've been terrible. And whether it's personal reasons or whatnot, Solskjaer has played him and he's delivered in 20 appearances, zero goals. But in FIFA 20 crew mode, it's a different story. I was doing a random save and I saw the news toll come up and guess who won the Player of the Month award? Mr. Lingard himself. Taking into account his current form and the way he's been playing this season, Lingard is not going to be winning the Player of the Month in real life football, but it is possible in FIFA 20 career mode for some reason. This one is very unlikely unless Adidas comes in with a billion dollar offer or something, but we all know that Ronaldo is pretty locked down when it comes to Nike being his boot sponsor. Now, Nike's obviously paying him big bucks, but I reckon if someone came along, offered more, you never know, he might switch in the future, but right now it looks very unlikely given the amount of time Ronaldo has been wearing Nike boots throughout his career. But of course, in FIFA 20, anything is possible. You can edit Ronaldo's boots, and you can give him any other boot brand that's not Nike. Have you ever seen Ronaldo wearing New Balance? Absolutely not. Have you ever seen him wear EA's generic boots? Definitely not. They don't exist in real life, or maybe they do. Have you ever seen him wear ASICS boots? No. But it could happen in FIFA 20. Or even wearing Adidas. Doesn't it look weird? Ronaldo with Adidas boots. Pumas as well. I'm not saying that it's 100% not going to happen, but I think he's going to be pretty locked down with Nike. He's obviously one of the biggest athletes they have. And uh, yeah, it would be a big loss if he left for another brand. But in FIFA 20, who cares what brand he wears? You can put him in my Zunos as well. Predators, whatever you want, it's possible. So this one can definitely only happen in FIFA 20 this season. Liverpool not winning this year's Premier League. Now, we all know the current circumstances surrounding this year's Premier League. Liverpool have absolutely killed it. No losses, and they've got 76 points, and the rest of them are like 20-plus points behind. It's a total write-off this season. Liverpool are the champions. There's no way that this is going to slip now. But in FIFA 20, they've decided that Liverpool are not worthy champions of this season's Premier League. I've actually simulated a full season in crew mode this season, and I have not done it more than one take. This is the first take, and EA has decided that Man City should be the champions with 98 points. They beat Liverpool, who got 96 points, and uh, Spurs finished in third with 91. Now, I could do another topic here. Teams besides Liverpool in the Premier League getting over 90 points. That, that's another topic in its own, but in FIFA 20, teams can beat Liverpool and win the Premier League this season, but in real life, it's not going to happen. So this next one is not really about the older players in the game because it's a little bit more realistic with the older players. But I'm talking about the youngsters, like anyone that's not 37 years old. And this one is about retiring players in the game and making them professional managers instantly. This can definitely happen with older players, you know, if they retire this season. But with the youngsters like Mbappe and that, they're not going to be retiring unless they get a career-ending injury. And then they're not going to be becoming professional managers straight away. But there is one place where you can live this fantasy out. And that is FIFA 20 career mode. You can actually retire professional players and make them managers instantly by going from player career down to manager career. So a 20-year-old perfectly healthy Mbappe decides that he's had enough, he's done it all, and it's time to retire. You can actually do that in FIFA 20 career mode. I'm sure you guys know by now. But all you have to do is go over and press retire. This guy has decided he's had enough, doesn't want to play up front anymore. He'd rather manage, you know, sick of uh, putting on the shirt every week. It's time to retire at 20 years old. He's made enough money. Let's become a manager. And immediately you can make him a manager coaching any team. Even a team like Nice isn't too bad as a starter kit. And then you can also manage in the Serie A as well. Whatever you want, you can pick here. Let's say we take this team, just a random team, sign a contract getting 64 grand a week, definitely less than he is probably making as a player. 
But regardless, it's only possible in career mode. You can retire players, whatever age they are, and make them managers instantly. 20 year old Mbappe had enough. Time to become a manager, you love to see it. So these two have versed each other, they've sat next to each other at ceremonies, but I don't think they've ever played on the same team together. It's Messi and Ronaldo. Now maybe in the future this could happen with a charity match or something like that, but competitively, unless they both go to like Beckham's into Miami or something, when they're about to retire just to collect some paycheck or something, these guys probably won't be playing on the same team together, and that would be a big missed opportunity, because could you imagine how they would dominate teams. In FIFA 20, we can definitely live this fantasy dream by actually doing it through the club transfers menu, or you can go down the crew mode route and sign both of them for your team, but it's a little bit hard. You need a lot of money and stuff like that, unless you use Juventus or Barcelona straight up. The best thing to do is go to the club menu thing, search them up and transfer them to any team you want, and then you're done. Messi and Ronaldo at Manchester United. And we have to put Ronaldo on the left wing, and then Messi will replace Martial on the right. Imagine Bruno Fernandes in the middle as well. That, that is a dream, man. Fernandes, Messi and Ronaldo, Rashford up top. What a team. Messi picks up the ball. He's looking for options. Plays it through to Ronaldo. Takes a touch. And it's a goal. That's the kind of magic you could see if Messi and Ronaldo played on the same team. The next thing I want to talk about is signing players and when they actually play for your club. So in the real world, it's uh, pretty common that it takes a couple of days from when a player signs to when he actually plays. There's medicals that happen and then there's unveilings and all that kind of stuff. But in FIFA, we can forget about all that. You can sign a player and play them on the same day. Now that is definitely a football thing that can only happen in FIFA 20. But let's take a look at an example. Now we've got a match against Man City. This is the same day, the 4th of August 2019. But the manager just thought to himself, we need to make another signing for this match, you know. We need a guy from Australia. I've got just the right guy from Australia. Mr. Ryan Grant, who plays for Sydney FC. And uh, let's say he was going to join Liverpool. Obviously, he's currently in Sydney, has no idea we're going to sign him. But if he was to get to Liverpool, it's going to take him a very, very long time with the plane. And there's no way he's going to be able to make an afternoon game on the same day and be able to play. But in Fever 20, he can. So it all starts when you approach to buy the guy. And obviously, this takes probably an hour or two as well. But in crew mode, that doesn't matter. You know, that, that's... All that realistic stuff, throw it out the window when it comes to this. So somehow a Liverpool rep has flown from Liverpool down to Sydney to come and talk. And uh, we're going to give him a nice offer that he can't refuse. $100 million right there. Or pounds, whatever you want to call it. And the Liverpool person was happy with that. So now what happens is Mr. Ryan Grant needs to go to Liverpool. Now, keep in mind, this is the same day. This guy has flown on a plane for, I don't even know how long, 18 plus hours. I don't know how long it takes. But somehow he has arrived at Liverpool before we've even played a game yet that was due for the same day. So now we're talking about pricing and we'll give him an offer that he can't refuse. And we've managed to sign him at the club. So we've still got the game, you know, we've still got that game against Man City ready to go. Now I've got my right back that I needed. And uh, for the example, Mr. Alexander-Arnold can go for today. And we will bring in Mr. Ryan Grant. Like, as, as you can see, he's traveled a long way. Still managed to make it on time to play this game. And he's eligible to play this game against Man City. Now, some people like it like this. Some people say it's unrealistic. But it's definitely a football thing that can only happen in FIFA 20. So usually in football, managers are not really agents. And agents are not really managers. They're two different things. And maybe some people do cross over. But I'm not really aware of anyone that actually has crossed over from manager to agent or agent to manager. But... In career mode, anything is possible, and I think you know where I'm going with this. Coaches that are currently managing teams can also be player agents at the same time. And it's not just current managers, it's also managers that have been sacked and are waiting for a new job can also be player agents in career mode. I've got a few examples to show you. So the first example today is the Norwich manager, and we all know he's busy in real life. He's not being an agent for anyone, but in career mode, he's not getting paid enough. He's decided that he needs a little side job, a little extra commission, you know, and he wants to make some money off the players. And when you sign certain players like Neymar Jr., you will actually see a very surprising thing when the agent walks in. So we're expecting all these uh, generic faces. You know those prototype people that EA uses for career mode? We're used to those as agents. But then when you sign players like Neymar, you see this guy, the Norwich manager, doing the negotiations for him. Now, obviously, it's a smart business move because the commission on a Neymar deal would probably be more than managing Norwich, especially when you're talking hundreds of millions of dollars. But... What's he doing there? I don't know. But that wasn't the only manager to be an agent in Karimo. There was also another guy here, the former Watford man. I think his name was uh, Flores or something. He was actually Neymar's manager too. And I'm not sure if this was a couple months ago, 
but uh, obviously he's been replaced now with the Norwich manager. So it looks like Neymar has been doing secret deals with managers in the game, and he keeps getting these managers as his player agent. So... I don't know what's going on here, but only in FIFA 20, man. Now, if you've got any ideas of football things that can only happen in FIFA 20, make sure you leave a comment and you could be featured in another video. But for now, if you need something else to watch, check out this FIFA 20 video. Hit the card in the middle. I'll see you next time.